Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about bench press mistakes and today is all about elbow flare. Elbow flare on the bench press isn't necessarily a bad thing um, so long as it's being used correctly. You can view elbow flare from a couple different angles. So one would be straight from the side of your bench press. Do you see that arcing pattern of the barbell or is that barbell straight up and down like you're kind of doing a neck press? The other angle would be from straight on top. So if you're right on top, are your elbows kicked way up towards your ears or are your elbows kind of safe down by a 45 degree angle? If your bench press is always with your elbows kicked up high, elbows are really, really flared, it puts your shoulder in this awkward position and you're just more likely to get injured. So assuming that all other factors in the bench press are the same in that you have shoulders packed, feet are grounded, um, as you're coming down, you are gonna touch down somewhere between your lower chest to mid chest and come back towards lockout over your shoulders. About halfway up, your elbows will flare, and that's a totally fine thing to do. Well, all we're trying to do is avoid having those elbows flare really early in the bench press. So if you come down and elbows are kicked high, elbows are flared, um, that puts you in this really inefficient place to press, um, but it also leaves you exposed to a higher likelihood of injury. What that elbow flare is, is your triceps finishing the movement. So as you come down to your chest on a bench press and you get about halfway up and then your elbows flare to lockout, that's your triceps kind of finishing the movement, um, which isn't a bad thing, that can be a good thing. Uh, again, we're just trying to prevent excessive elbow flare. This flare is also gonna be influenced by your grip width. So if you have a really wide grip, you're not gonna be able to travel as far down on your chest. Um, so you're, not gonna, you're gonna be in just a little bit uh, riskier position to start with, um, versus if you're a little bit more narrow, your elbows will come closer to your sides during that press. Um, so, you know, it's not, not going to look the same from person A to person B, um, but you're just trying to avoid excessive flare. So, in the bench press, try to avoid tons of excessive flare if this is your issue. Maybe narrow your grip just a tad, lower that bar to around your mid to low chest, and then halfway up that flare is cool, um, totally fine, but we want to avoid that completely vertical uh, bar path where you're almost bringing it down to your neck. Um, that kind of puts you in a position in your shoulder uh, to be inefficient and it's injurious where um, you could just strain something and uh, you're not really powerful so why would you perform a bench press that way? So that's today's mistake. Um, tune in for more coming soon. Rapid fit!